Counseling Techniques, Highlighting Exceptions, with Gina Coe and Sandra Collins. It is often useful for clients to attend to exceptions to the challenges they face. These might include periods of time when the challenge was not present, times when they thought or felt differently about the challenge, or examples of drawing on their strengths to respond differently in particular relationships or contexts of their lives. Highlighting exceptions may offer clients glimpses into how they would like their lived experiences to be different. So Sandra, tell me about times in your life where you are able to rest when you allow yourself that space and time to to come down from the stressors. Probing. I was thinking recently about this time in my life about 10 years ago Mm -hmm. when I found myself humming, which is really strange for me. And so the other day I was thinking about like, what was it about that time in my life where I felt like I was kind of more, I don't know, happier, more lighter, um and and I know it was about 10 years maybe 12 years ago and it was at the time when I had been on the medical leave and I moved into sabbatical so I was feeling quite rested from the medical leave and healthy and I moved into sabbatical and I resigned from being an associate dean and decided I was done with university administration so um it took that took like this big piece that I had been carrying for a long time away from me I remember that's when I started taking art classes and picking up my, I hadn't done art since high school and I really liked it. I've always dabbled in creative things, but to actually sit down and like create art space and do it on a regular basis, I had never done that. So yeah, so I've been thinking about that time in my life. Wow, Sandra, I actually didn't know that you didn't do art since high school and then about 10 years ago, you returned to mm-hmm. to, to art. Can you slow that down for me? Tell me about about those moments of picking up art again? Probing. I just was like making stuff up and playing and whatever, but it still was, I still found myself expressing things differently. You know, like I just felt like I was um, tapping into a part of myself and and, uh, that I hadn't tapped into for a long time. I mean, I'm very creative that's why I do animated videos and those sorts of things I found ways to express my creativity in my work but not art in the same way um so yeah it was about bringing forth that create creative part of me Mm -hmm. you know I am observing and I'm seeing how you are smiling and and you want to really share this creative part of, of you with me yeah I'm not sure if you noticed that Sandra offering immediacy yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really does bring me joy to bring something to life in a different way. And um, so I think the art was a big part of that. And the, I had more, I had more sense of space and time. So um, I was, yeah, I, I think it was a time in my life when I just felt like weights lifted off. And and I was able to create that that um, space for my own creativity and for um, you know more connection with my partner and time together. And um, I think that's and the humming is a weird thing for me. Like my father hums all the time. It's really interesting. Um, so I grew up with a hummer. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've been doing it for since then. You know, it lasted for maybe eight months or something, but. Hmm. So is humming something you would like to return to as well then? Do you feel like you <laughs> can be more intentional in humming? <laughs> Clarifying. <laughs> I don't know if it's, I don't know if the humming is something that's actually kind of something would that would be part of my life. It was more kind of spontaneous. And I think it was an expression of lightness and expression of happiness, whether that's how whether that's how I would express that now I don't know but Mm. it was was kind of a it was curious to me that that's how it came out 
Yeah. And in terms of um, making room for art and creativity, and, and I'm not that you're not doing it. I, I hear and I see that you are already leaving the painting right behind you uh, right now, I see. Offering affirmations. So would it be in terms of taking action even more, being more intentional, right, to focus on the art and the, on the creativity alongside with all this impactful work? Clarifying. I think it's the intentionality and it's also it's also about finding a way to shift back into that way of being in my life, um, which was more present, more less distracted by demands, mm. uh, creating, creating a sense of space, and then it fills up with art or fills up with other things. So Sandra, to summarize what I heard today so far is that um, there's a point in your life about 10 years ago, right? You were on sabbatical and, and uh, you, were, you had this, these moments of humming, right? And it seems like from our talk today, those moments were felt more present to you, you know, less, less kind of driven by the demands of work and life. So um, I, I'm hearing that it, in terms of today and moving forward, you're, you're even more open to be more intentional and being present and to, you know, when we talk about rest as a resistance, right? Mm -hmm. um, during these times of being creative, it is rest for you. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's going to be helpful to uh, yeah, continue to pay attention, right? And incorporate these moments in your life. Summarizing. It helped me to remember that time. It was kind of like, yeah, something different happened in that time. And now it's helpful to think about what was different about that.